Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here. You're gonna join me in the kitchen today. We're cooking up some Mr. Wad amazing spicy Ethiopian red lentils. Yum. Okay, the star of the show is gonna be the spice blend called Burberry. Fantastic stuff. If you live near an Ethiopian or African store, you can find it there. Otherwise, buy it online. I used two round tablespoons and it was kind of spicy. If you're not such a spice fan, maybe one will uh, be enough. Here it is, red in color, lots of spice. And next thing we're gonna need is our lentils. I'm using red lentils here and I always give them a good old rinse. You wanna give it one minute under uh, some uh, running water like I'm doing. And then if you see any weird stuff like uh, rocks or coins or people that shouldn't be in lentils, then just throw them out. All right, next thing we're gonna need is onions. Um, I just used one medium sized onion. Some folks will use tomato paste as well. I didn't bother. Now, I lived next to Ethiopians for one year, neighbors, and I, l I learned a few tricks from them. The key is patience when you are frying the onions. You wanna give it a lot of time to get it nice and caramelized. So one medium white onion, finely chopped, and then gather your onionage with your uh, knife and get ready to put it in. Now we're gonna go for, uh, put your instant pot onto saute mode and chuck in a good bit of oil. I also noticed my Ethiopian neighbors never measured the oil, they just poured it like this, so that's kind of what I do. Probably about two tablespoons. Um, now we're ready to put our onions into our oil. So just, uh, you know, get your hand and uh, shove them off the chopping board and put them into the instant pot. This doesn't work as well as a stove. Uh, I never get that very good caramelization, but it's almost the same thing. Bit of salt. Depending on how salty your Burberry is, it should be unsalted, so add salt to your taste. Um, then you want to, of course, fry your, uh, your finely chopped onions in the oil. And as I said before, this is where you want to just chill out and let it do its thing. Really, don't rush this part of it. But when your onions have got a nice little bit of uh, browning on them, then throw in the Burberry. And uh, here is, you, you want to start stirring pretty quickly. You do, do not want these spices to burn. They are already toasted. So keep mixing, keep mixing. And um, I give this a couple of minutes. And I do the same thing for the lentils. This is also something I picked up from uh, local Ethiopian folk who lived next to me for a year. They would toast the lentils for like a minute alongside the Burberry and the caramelized onions. And in my opinion, this is a big deal. This will really make a difference between um, getting that really nice taste and not but uh, you can add the water first if you feel the need to do that So here's my one cup of uh, red lentils that I gave a rinse under and I'm just gonna mix it in here with the um, Onions and the Burberry and make sure everything comes together nicely in the instant pot Keep it off the sides and uh, give it a good old mix and uh, look it's coming together Pity you can't smell this because Burberry is fantastic all right, we are now ready to add the uh, H2O, the water. The ratio I use is one cup of red lentils to three cups of water and it comes out perfect. So do not tamper with the golden ratio of one to three. You might get away with one, one to 2.5, it'll be a bit drier, but I'd go for one to three. So three cups of mineral water, tap water, whatever pleases you. And then make sure everything's nicely mixed together in your instant pot and then chuck on the lid. And we're gonna want to, of course, put up the valve. Now, I gave it 10 minutes um, and that really gets everything nicely mixed together. The onions just melt into it. You can do seven if you prefer. It'll just be a bit more crunchy in the onions. Here's my spice cabinet. Do not come to my house in the event of the apocalypse, but I do, I do have a lot of spices there. All right, so our cooking is underway. We have nine minutes left. And here's me releasing pressure. I went for a quick release because I was damn hungry while I was making this video, but you can do slow release and take off the lid. And here you go. I had this last night at an Ethiopian restaurant and it looked pretty much like this. Here is our Mr. Wat. It's a bit like the Ethiopian equivalent of dal. Um, I love these chef pans. I buy them from a restaurant supply store. And uh, yeah, this is enough for one person for dinner. Um, or two not very hungry people put it in the and keep it in the fridge there in your uh, chef's pan But uh, for actually plating up. I use this magnificent little bowl. I picked up in an Ethiopian store I really love the stuff that they have for sale there. This is the thing lovely, isn't it? And um, then put your uh, Mr. Watt into this and uh, You know two ladles fulls you'll be surprised the stuff will, will really fill you up now Of course, it's traditional to eat this with injera teff bread fermented teff bread I didn't have any, uh, so what I did was just grab an old piece of pita bread and put it on the side, and that's it. You use the bread as your fork and knife, scoop it up, 
and it is delicious. Hope this video was good. If you enjoyed it, want to get more, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.